the learning objectives of today's video lesson optical instrument number one visual angle number two angular magnification and number three simple microscope and it's working and we also find out angular magnification of simple microscope so let us first look at the previous knowledge required for understanding the simple microscope and the required definitions number one is near point let's say this is the human eye we know the convex lens inside the human eye can form image on the retina let's say an object is placed at here the retina on the retina image is formed we know it's an inverted image so first is the comfortable distance at which we can see the object without any strain in our eye is 25 centimeters so we uh, call this as near point because it is the minimum distance that we are able to see as it is a minimum distance we also call it as least distance of distinct vision now let us see far point far point is the maximum distance that eye can accommodate and forms image on the retina the far point a human eye can see the very large distances moon also so we can say it is approximately infinity the far point of human eye is infinity right now let us see what is a visual angle so visual angle is the angle subtended at the eye or or any optical instrument to an object so let us say uh, suppose an object is viewed at some distance from the eye so let's say i am taking one object here uh, let us say this object is uh, far from the eye so when the object is very far from the eye the angle is minimum so the size of the object is decided by which angle it is subtended to the eye so why is it appearing smaller the reason is the angle subtended at the eye by this object is very very smaller let us say i am bringing this object close to the eye the same object appears very bigger now the reason is the angle subtended by the eye by the object at the eye is more now so you can see the object comfortably with bigger in size at a distance we already have seen that distance is called least distance of distinct vision so that least distance of distinct vision is 25 centimeters let's say this object is viewed from here which is 25 centimeters now this distance 25 centimeters and the angle subtended and the angle subtended here at the eye is known as visual angle so here the angle subtended by the object at the eye is called visual angle which is denoted by theta naught so with this we understand that the uh, size of any object appear to our eye depends on the angle subtended that means visual angle at the eye so the magnification produced in the angle is known as angular magnification so the second definition that we are going to learn is angular magnification so angular magnification is also known as magnifying power so magnifying power is defined as the power of increasing the visual angle is called angular magnification we also have another definition for it the ratio of angle subtended by the image formed at the aided eye to the angle subtended by the object at the unaided eye so aided eye means we use some optical instrument like a simple microscope or a compound microscope or telescope whatever that's an aided eye so unaided eye which is naked eye which is not using any instrument so the the ratio in order to increase the angular magnification we have to use some aid like an optical instrument so the angle subtended by the image at the aided eye to the angle subtended by the object at the unaided eye is known as angular magnification now let us consider an object is placed uh, before an unaided eye that means naked eye at a distance which is equal to the near point that is uh, 25 centimeters least distance of distinct vision so this uh, angle subtended at the unaided eye is theta naught now let us say in order to increase uh, the size of the object we need to place uh, some optical instrument now let me take a convex lens uh, when a convex lens is placed before the eye now the eye is called aided eye 
now when we look at uh, the object through this lens the object appears very bigger in size let us say this is the image formed by this uh, convex lens now the angle subtended by the uh, image to the at the aided eye is known as uh, the second angle that is denoted by theta let us say this is the other angle which is subtended at the aided eye so theta now as per the angular magnification definition it is ratio between these two angles so m is equal to theta by uh, theta naught that is the angle subtended by aided eye by unaided eye and in some books it is also denoted by the letters alpha and beta so we may also represent uh, angular magnification in terms of alpha and beta that is beta by alpha that is angle subtended by aided i beta and uh, unaided i alpha now let us try to understand the microscope concept in which we are going to have simple microscope the another category is compound microscope in the upcoming video we will see the compound microscope so simple microscope or a magnifier simple magnifier is a converging lens of small focal length as the name implies this device increases the apparent size of an object when an object is seen through it also call this as magnifying glass to see the tiny objects now let us suppose there is uh, an object placed at the near point of the eye that is uh, capital D generally we denote it capital D which is 25 centimeters now height of the object is h now let us say the angle subtended at this unaided eye is uh, theta naught we actually use it with theta naught or alpha so the theta naught is angle subtended by unaided i which is given by h by d so this is because uh, from the tan theta for small angles tan theta is approximately equal to theta so it becomes h by d now let us consider we are looking through a simple magnifier or simple microscope so we have two cases in order to see the object here the image is formed at infinity and image forms at near point let us see case 1 the image is formed at infinity right so in order to form image at infinity we have to place object at the focus of the convex lens let us say this is the focus of this convex lens so when the object is placed on focus the image forms at infinity we have uh, done this already in 10th grade so this is the ray which is passing parallelly and then it refracts uh, such a way it passes through the focus now we can see the object uh, is placed at focus image forms at infinity so here let us say the height of the object is h and uh, the distance because the ob object is placed at uh, focus it is focal length right now the angle subtended here at the aided eye is theta so theta is equal to uh, from the figure it is a clearly seen it is a ratio between h and f now let us consider uh, the magnification now the angular magnification formula is theta by theta naught which is angle subtended by uh, aided i to the unaided i so h by f and h by d we will substitute these two in the above equation you will get h by f and theta o is h by d so when we take uh, this h by t to the numerator you will get h by f into d by h now h h gets cancelled the final equation will be d by f so this is the magnification formula when the object is placed at the focus at m is equal to d by f here d is equal to 25 centimeters now the question is can we increase the magnifying power further the answer is yes we can increase now let us see case number two so this is possible when image is formed at uh, near point that is least distance of distinct vision now in this case an object is placed between optical center and focus so let us all recall the last ray diagram in convex lens so when we place an object be between optical center and focus uh, the virtual erect and magnified image is formed so parallel to focus and uh, the light ray which is passing through optical center remains undeviated so when we extend these rays backward you will get a virtual image okay 
so now this virtual image is formed now uh, such a way we have to adjust the position of the object such a way the image is exactly formed at the near point that is at d now the image is formed at near point d such a way we have to adjust the position of the object between optical center and focus now this is object distance and this is image distance uh, as i said it is near point d okay this is the second case now the angle subtended by the image at the aided eye is uh, let us say theta uh, we already knew the angle subtended at the unaided eye theta naught is equal to h by d now the angle subtended at the aided eye theta is equal to so the height of the object is h and uh, the distance is u let us say the object is placed at a distance u now so theta is equal to h by nu right so this is aided i now here we need to find out what is u because we do not have an idea where the object is placed we will do it in terms of d and df now so what is uh, u for now we will find out the value of u with the help of lens formula we know lens formula as 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u but i am taking here plus by taking sign conventions 1 by u is equal to 1 by f minus 1 by v right so here image is formed at near point we have already seen the image is formed at near point so v is equal to d as it is also on the left side so we will take v value as minus d so here v value is minus d let us substitute v value minus d in the above equation we will get 1 by u is equal to 1 by f uh, minus 1 by d right and this minus into minus becomes plus 1 by f plus 1 by d right now let us go back to the angular magnification formula let's say this as equation number one now uh, let's go back to the angular magnification uh, the formula of angular magnification m is equal to theta by theta naught right so here m we will take as theta by theta naught let us substitute the values of theta and theta naught uh, from the above equations h by u and h by d right h by u and h by d now if we transpose this h h gets cancelled the answer will be d by u right so we already have uh, 1 by u value in the above equation 1 so we can write m as d of d by u 1 by u in the place of 1 by u you can write 1 by f plus 1 by d so if we write in the place of it you will get d of 1 by f plus 1 by t right now when I, when i multiply with this uh, things with the d you will get d by d gets cancelled it becomes 1 so m value is 1 plus d into 1 by f becomes d by f uh, now uh, m magnification value when the object is uh, when the image is formed at near point is given by 1 plus d by f so m you might have uh, seen uh, the magnification produced by infinity is d by f so here d by f and uh, at infinity d by f now it is 1 plus d by f that means it is one more than this so magnification produced here is maximum right let us see an example what is the magnification produced by a convex lens of focal length 10 centimeters if the final image is formed at the least distance of distinct vision so the given data let us write focal length as 10 centimeters first now they have asked uh, the magnification when the image is formed at least distance that means uh, the second case magnification is given by 1 plus d by f so always we will take near the point as uh, 25 centimeters it is constant whether it is given in the question or not so m value will be 1 plus 25 by focal length uh, is given as 10 so it comes out to be 1 plus 2.5 it is 3.5 so this is the maximum magnification produced by the microscope in case if the question is find the magnification produced when the image forms at infinity so it is directly d by f 25 by 10 comes out to be 2.5
okay so this is the maximum magnification produced by the given convex lens hope you have enjoyed the video thank you so much for listening